Welcome back. All right, it is 618. Now we're just sliding on through a Tuesday morning here. Um, Robert Spetta, Lauren Routenkranz, the duo this morning. Um, I love having him here because we actually can really nerd out as oh. far as what we're seeing on radar now and what our future cast is showing. And you know, the nice thing is we're here, a lot of people are coming in, bouncing questions mm -hmm. off of us. And one of the big questions people have been asking is, yeah, we're talking about the track, we're talking about the forecast. When is stuff going to start to pick up here on the first right. coast? Right, because it's always, you know, you're anticipating the storm. Mm -hmm. We're watching it increase in intensity. Uh, but our future cast shows just that today. In fact, we're going to see those outer ba rain bands impact portions of Florida. So uh, take it away there. One o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, and even by that point, let's say you got friends out in Tampa. Mm -hmm. They're already starting to see some of the outer rain bands out ahead of this right. storm. And then we just look ahead here. There we go. What's this? Eight o'clock tonight. Mm -hmm start to see some of those thunderstorms even kick yep. up in our local area. Yeah, and those will be moving from south to north. We already even have some lightning strikes that are off of Amelia Island. I know we've got our weather watchers who are our frequent beach morning walkers. Uh, you'll see that lightning offshore. Remember, if you're hearing the thunder, just hang inside. Lightning actually not a thing that we normally see in tropical mm. rain bands. Um, so that'll be, you know, that's, that's interesting right now. We've already got some of that lightning. And, and that could also indicate, you know, some of these thunder cells. So if you do see that, let's say tomorrow morning you see a lot of lightning, mm -hmm. could also indicate some that severe weather, maybe in the tornadic type cells yes, too. Yes, that is right. But this show on 5 a.m. and that's when in the, by 6-7 mm -hmm. we're really going to start to see those rain bands move in across yep. the first yep. coast here. So we're within that 24 hour window folks uh, and today thankfully we do have some time to go ahead and prepare for Edalia, which is why uh, we now have those watches which have turned into warnings and typically right when we see a severe thunderstorm warning when we see a tornado warning that means that it's time to take action it's time to really uh, make sure you're in your safe place but with this situation we do still have some time to go ahead and get those last minute preps but that's why we urge you all hurricane season long to make sure you have those plans in place so we're not scrambling at the last minute. I'll just tell you behind the scenes in my life, right? We've got two babies to take care of. My husband has work as well. So we all have things going on in our personal and professional lives we need to take care of before the weather begins to roll in. As far as those tropical alerts go, the orange in the tropical storm warning, the red in that hurricane warning. Now the strongest wind gusts going to be in for areas that are in that hurricane warning, but I don't want to ignore my pals at the coast. This is not a big storm, threat, storm surge threat for us as it is, of course, where we're going to see landfall impact uh, in the big bend of Florida. However, we will be watching higher than normal tides. We've been seeing that with the onshore flow uh, and then also Franklin, which is a cat four hundreds of miles off our coast, spreading those swells and surf our way. So uh, beginning tonight, we'll expect some higher tides at times of high tide. But by Wednesday morning, when we're seeing the worst of our weather blow in. These are those high tide times, which are going to be critical, of course, to watch those water levels. Downtown Jack's about 10 a.m. So if you're in a low lying, a flood prone area and during these tropical situations or a, during a heavy rain, you do experience flooding. You're going to want to make sure you're preparing for that today because tomorrow morning we'll be in the thick of it before that sun is already up. Columbia Baker Bradford Union 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. is our storm window tomorrow with those cat one gusts up to 90 miles an hour or some computer model data even higher than that. But Robert and I really trying to align here with the National Hurricane Center. We all have the same message and we want to uh, make sure we're, we're keeping folks as safe as possible. Roof and tree damage will be a concern out that way as well as power outages. Duval County, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Power outages, even those isolated tornadoes and the rain bands will be a threat all the way toward the coast. Let's get on over to the UF Health Traffic Center now to see how our girl Renata DiGregorio is doing. Hey,